Laura is trying to set up the Pivo thing that she bought. Even though I bought a really good thing, that actually works. She bought a Pivo. Yeah, we forgot her whip, so Laura went back to get it. The problem with having the barn 50 feet away. <laughs> it's following you, Soph. And the Pivo is following Sophie. I guess we'll see if it records anything. Maybe tomorrow I'll bring that other thing. Oh, it's following something. It's probably following a ghost. This is the warm up. A lot of walking. What? Yeah, money well wasted. I didn't get the Pivo. The reason they didn't get the Pivo was because usually it uses Wi Fi. I don't know. There's no Wi Fi here. actually acting like a normal horse today. The other day when she had to ride in the saddle, she was losing her mind over it. She didn't feel confident in the saddle and he was acting up like you would not believe. So, push your hands forward, Sophia. So clearly he does feed off of her. I feel like your stirrups are too short. Stop by. I feel like it too. Yeah, she's really struggling to rip. To, you're struggling to rise, aren't you? <laughs> You're not struggling to use the saddle. Fiona said that you ride better in this saddle. No, she said you ride well in this saddle. Stop and we'll fix your stirrups. I think your stirrups need to go down a hole. Okay, so Gabby's just riding. She's not in a lesson. She's just riding, having a good old time. A little bit more? Like the Pivo. Got the Pivo hooked up and it's working. Look at it. Like, I literally just took it out of the box, plugged it in, and it's working. Look at it go. I don't know who it's following. Gabby, it just jumped. It just jumped from, so, oh, well, that's fine. Kind of what you do when you video. Yeah, this. exactly. <laughs> they say a PV is a cameraman, buying a cameraman. They should pay me to advertise so for breathe. them. breathe. Hands forward. The more you complain, the longer I'm going to make you ride. Warm yeah, up. You think that's funny? <laughs> <laughs> that's girl, got to stick together. <laughs> Wait till it's your turn, Freya. <laughs> The reason I don't like Pivos is because people put them up at a show and then everybody's standing around the arena all the words. and you're all saying like whatever you want to say. Like you're whispering to each other. You're like, oh, I love that horse. Oh my God, that horse looks lame. <laughs> and then they, they, they come and they take their camera home and you're like, oh my God, what did, what did we say on their camera? Use your reins and release. Tap out, release. Half halt, release. Don't hold his mouth. Let's say I let you call me, baby. Let's say I let you hold my hand. Let's say I let you stay. I let you stay for coffee in the morning. Cause you spent the night right next to me. Check your eyes! Hey, shoo!
Bless me. Sorry, I have allergies. I've discovered this because every summer my ears plug up. Oh, fun. I know. They're plugged now. You know how I know? Last night I was sleeping on one ear and I could hardly hear Sam snoring. I was like, what is happening? Grip with your inner thighs when you rise, Sophia. Squeeze those legs on. Remember we talked about dropping your knees? That's it. Breathe. Push your hands forward. Use those thighs to lift you up. He actually moves very nicely in this saddle. His shoulders are a little freer. That's weird because the other one's for him. The other one's wider because of him, and Storms is less wide you look because at him of him. Though, see how much more reach he has in the front end. He yeah. actually sticks his toes in. I know. I don't know why it works for him, but listen to this. Yeah, even the saddle fitter was like, he said, he likes said to Gabby. I said, Gabby says that he likes this Storm saddle too. And he said, oh, no, he would not like that saddle. I think Gabby and I were like embarrassed and we're like, oh, okay. And I said, could you try it on him? He tries it on him and he's like, even I got it on video and he's like, okay, I'm going to agree with you. <laughs> so my question is this. You know how Sophie always leans forward and people are always freaking out that she leans forward. She leans forward because her legs swing forward in the chair seat and then her body falls backwards and the only way to compensate for the falling backward motion is to lean the upper body forward. Okay, so you know how she always leans forward. Yes. <laughs> so you know how... Oh, gone. So you, okay, and so all that that you just said though is because she's learning still. Like she's still a child learning yeah. and figuring it all out. That's right. Okay, so my question is this. When they made that saddle for Gabby, she was 11 years old and she leaned forward all the time too. And so she shimmed it. The cat. He was like trying to run after it. <laughs> That's what Storm's like. Storm be, look, that thing's following Gabby. That Storm, that Storm be like, I will kill you. So she shimmed the saddle to push Gabby back a bit. Correct. So do you think that will work for Sophie? It already is. Oh, woohoo. So that was what I was kind of excited about at the prospect of Sophie riding in this saddle. I think the biggest thing you girls have to think about is the horses here. <laughs> yes, you may. That Finn fits in both saddles, Storm fits in both saddles, and Chino fits in one saddle. So that's how you're going to decide what you're riding in. It's not gonna matter about you. Sorry, you come second here. Yeah, that's your horse's fit and comfort comes first. Yeah. Okay. So whoever you choose to ride will depend on what saddle you end up riding in. Until we get Chino's saddle. Correct. Once Chino gets his saddle, you get your saddle back. So I think the best way to think of it is it's not Sophie's saddle, it's not Gabby's saddle for right now. It is our saddles that fit which horse? It's the horse's saddle. So I don't know what I'm catching over there on that pivo, but I like it. I, so there's a way to set it. Drop those knees down. He's got to deal with the fact that your leg's coming back. Can you lift your heel up a little bit? Thank you. When you jam your heel down too hard, you lock your joints. If you lock your ankle joint, your knee joint isn't going to work. If your knee joint doesn't work, your hip joint doesn't work. So on and so forth. We need to make sure that we start from the bottom and work our way up. Breathe and lift your hands. Don't fight him. So he's going to think go faster. Because as you work on this, your leg is going to touch his belly a little bit. So we need to allow him to feel okay about that. And we need to just remind him that just because my leg accidentally bumped you, I'm working on this, buddy. So I need you to work with me and stay at a nice pace. Well, well maybe not. Out of girl. That's looking much better. And your leg stays in a much nicer position when you don't jam your heels down and lock them up. That means you don't have to lean as far forward because your leg isn't pushing you back. See, three minutes and she's figured out the problem. Good, now push your hands by your martingale and out of your crotch.
Push your hand forward. Keep it up. It looks good. It looks good. It looks good. Breathe and slow your booty. You get excited and that bum just works too hard and too fast. When you slow your rising down, you have to grip with your inner thighs and breathe. Let's say I let you have, I let you have my number. Hands forward, keep that little post. Let his mouth go and use your thighs. So this lesson Legs is- Legs are much better. Just on saddle. Learning to ride in another saddle. And Stormy's just here for a visit. Have fun. And a ride and just, I love him here. Like I wish we could keep him here. But he loves his herd. If you would push your hands forward, he would start to stretch his neck. He's ready to. He just needs you to trust him. Is she doing it? Let me know if I have to lay down the law. Pardon? Sure. Does she need to put her hands forward? Now put your hand forward. Like way up by your martingale. Yeah. There you go. Tighten your thighs when you breathe and your belly muscles. Tighten it all right now. Breathe. Going. Hi, babe. No. So I want you to tighten your thighs, tighten your belly, give your reins a squeeze and breathe, and then let go of everything. There, when you let go, put your hands way up by your martingale. Put them way up there. Way up there, yeah. Don't chase him with your booty. Slow your booty down so you're not telling him to get, 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 get. I am not in love. I am not in love. Oh, no. Working hard, Finny. He's all sweaty. So I ordered a nose net. It should be here. I ordered like I had a, have an order at the tax store. Excellent. And she looks happy. Yes. Yeah, no. right. Prepare to canter, grouchy girl. I don't know why. She'll get over it. I know. She has a expensive, beautiful, amazing saddle to ride in. Yeah, it doesn't matter which one she's riding, and they're both friggin' better than 90% of people out there. But they're nicer than probably most of the schooling saddles that you would ride in. Like people don't spend- all schooling saddles. People probably don't buy, like, I don't know, ridiculous. She knows to get a nose net to try. Breathe. What'd she say? I don't know. She's getting more mature. So we need to tighten our thighs so our leg doesn't swing. Hold your boots on. Hold your inner thighs on. Do not rely on your reins. She only relies on her reins on him because he's so quick, because he responds so sensitively to her lower leg. When she rides Storm, she can ride with no reins because he doesn't care that her leg kicks Oh, her. you should have seen her riding Chino the other day. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen and Chino was in love with her. Uh, yep. So, a uh, couple- That's of, it, circle! Couple of people have ridden Finn recently and they said, 
both of them, oh my God, he's really hard horse to ride because yeah. he's really got such a weird choppy stride that you can't sit it. You have to like, it takes a lot. He to hasn't learned to trust himself to actually stretch out and use his body. That's why he's, he's smashing his front feet in. However, if you notice, he's not choppy right now. Yeah. Yeah. His I, shoulders are much freer in this saddle. Oh, well then. I'm sorry. Like, uh, there's a marked difference in his riding. How's that canter feel? Good. Good. Thank the Lord. I'm trying to catch Finn, but I don't care. It's, it's okay. Yeah, the last time Gabby rode storm the other day was fast. How does storm look? Lazy. Perfect. That canter right there. Look where you want to go. That's okay. That's okay. Don't chase him back up. Just ride the trot. Just ride the trot. And give away your reins and breathe out. Wow. Give him a big pat. That was beautiful. That's the nicest canter your horse has ever done. Because he really likes that saddle. So, I'm going to tell you something. You're not going to look at the words I'm going to say. And you're going to listen. But you have to listen. Your horse's trot, when he trots, he's actually taking his front feet and stretching them and flicking them forward. When he canters, He's actually stretching through the shoulder and reaching forward. This saddle has freed up his shoulders more that he actually has nicer movement and he's not so choppy. And that... You notice your canter stride isn't do 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 It's kind of got a little more of a roll to it. And you said, like you said, it's a really nice canter that he gave you, right? It's because he's able to stretch and move his body better. So it's allowing him a little more freedom. Does your saddle fit him? Absolutely. Is this something that maybe we should ride in this for a little bit to allow him to stretch out, get comfortable, and then go, look, we can go back to our saddle and you can still ride with that stretch out feeling and try it again. But I think that that freedom of movement is gonna cause him to relax underneath you and get less of that crazy hippy hoppy fin. Sylvie, this might change your life. This That's might make it so easy for you to ride him. So, a little sacrifice on our end for a short period of time. We already have to do it anyway, so it's amazing that it's even better for him, right? Yep, it's working for him. Give him a big pat, take him for a little walk. We're gonna can of the other way once he catches his breath. He's hotter than Hades. I miss you when I'm tipsy. Let's say I think about you once or twice. Let's say I want you to want Never Gabby, did. that's nice. Give away his head a little bit. And put your damn thumbs on top. Yeah. There. Don't lay your whip on your leg. I think that's your struggle. Lay it on his shoulder. If you had a long whip, that'd be fine. But when you have a bat, just set it on his neck. Let's say I want you to want me. Maybe someday you feel the way I do. I really like Storm. Like to this day, I, I buy him again. Yeah, I think he's been the best thing for your family. I think he's around. been the best thing for our family too. I just wish I could trail ride him. Look up. Tell him to trust you. Put your leg on and say, get. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. That was better. And guess who can sit those things now? I know. She can ride it all. She can ride it all now, Sophie. There, put in a circle. Stand a little taller. There, when you half hold, tighten your thighs and your belly muscles really tight. There, better, do it again. Yes. You're funny. She wants to do it again. She had a taste of freedom. No, nope, you may go straight once you have control.
this is much can... better. Circle again. When you get fast, put in the circle. Don't just keep racing around in a straight line. Put in the effort now so you may have the walk break. This is gorgeous out here. A little bit of a breeze. It's nice. It's not not too many hot. bugs. No, not too humid. You good? Good girl. Very nicely done. Yep. Good. Now try to loosen your reins a little bit. I asked everybody, who's your favorite of all of our horses? Who's your favorite of all of our horses, Fiona? My favorite? Yeah. One, two, three, four. You may walk. All done, Sophie. How do you feel about the saddle now? I can't breathe, and I still hate it. Are you going right. to deal for your horse, though? Sure. Not a girl. You can deal? All right, wait. Which That's one of our Which one of our horses is your favorite? Uh, it's a toss-up for me. Uh, between, sorry, Storm. Tino and Finn. Sorry, Storm. <laughs> Because they have the better um, possibility of being, like, they are have more athleticism? Uh, no, I just, I really like, um, I've always really liked Finn. I love his fiery personality. Fiona, who would you rather ride? Finn. And then Chino has totally different personality. Yeah. Chino's mellow yellow. Uh, Sam and I, if, I, if I was picking for a horse to ride, I would. I'd buy, if I was buying one of your horses for myself, I'd buy Finn. So the majority of people chose Finn. Yeah. <laughs> and then a lot of people chose Chino, and then some people chose Storm too. Nobody chose Penny. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful?